Meanwhile, it is starting to feel like spring again after all of the rain we had the last few days. Starting to get a little bit warmer outside. But this forecast, Larissa, as we've been talking about, it's really all over the place. It really is, Janelle. But today we can all agree it's an upgrade from yesterday. We're seeing more <laughs> Anything sunshine. Is. <laughs> Temperatures are also milder out there. But unfortunately, it'll be short-lived. That means you have to get outside and just enjoy, take full advantage of the day. We're tracking some sun. High clouds have streamed in. But I do want to point your attention just to our west. There's another weak disturbance. And that's going to keep the clouds here throughout the rest of the afternoon. So we'll see limited, if not filtered, sunshine as the afternoon wears on. But we should stay dry, perhaps maybe a stray shower south of Philly. But all in all, just a bit more cloud cover as the day presses on. Winds are out of the west right now. You can see just how much milder we are. Yesterday, the afternoon temperatures did not escape the 40s. We're already almost 10 degrees warmer compared to this time yesterday here in Philly, coming in at 57 degrees, 60 in Vineland. Temperatures are also in the 50s as we take a look at what's happening across and along the Jersey Shore. Slightly cooler north and west, Pocono region still in the 40s at this hour. If you're having dinner tonight, it's going to be a really nice night to do so. Comfortably cool out there with temperatures in the middle 50s. A bit breezy for the city with clouds once again moving through. As we head towards the shore, temperatures in the low 50s later on this evening. The sun sets at 718, so those days are getting longer and longer. And if you're up in the Lehigh Valley, you'll need a jacket as temperatures dip below 50, and you too will see an increase in that cloud cover. Let's go ahead and talk about our next system. This arrives here Saturday morning, so by mid-morning, a cold front approaches the region. This will produce scattered showers across the region. And I have to mention, tomorrow is not going to be a complete washout, but we will be dealing with passing showers as the day moves on. And you can see here, we stay unsettled even through the afternoon. And then the system completely departs. Winds kick up here for Sunday. And speaking of Sunday, that's when we are going to experience a nice dip in the jet stream that's going to allow for Arctic air to plunge right into the northeast region, sending our temperatures 10 to 20 degrees below seasonal norms. So this is what it looks like on paper. Today, not too bad, 62, with clouds moving into the region. Tonight, we bottom out at 42 degrees. By tomorrow, Saturday, slight chance for showers. We just showed you future weather. Not a washout, but you'd certainly want to pay attention to your CBS3 app if you have it. If you don't, download it. It's free. By Sunday, it is chilly. It is windy. By Monday, we're only in the 30s, Janelle. On Monday, I think we're probably going to need our winter gear again as wind chills will only be in the 20s for the majority of the start of the week. And with that, we will be right back.